Hi, I'm Michael Jacobson. I'm the Executive Director of the Center for Science in the Public Interest. Back in 1971, two other scientists and I started CSPI. We came to Washington because we wanted to apply our scientific training to help solve health and environmental problems. We wanted both to improve government policies and corporate practices, to clean up the environment and improve the public's health. We also wanted to encourage scientists to get involved in public interest work as their careers. Now, CSPI has almost a million members, offices in Washington, Ottawa, and Dallas, and we've really been having an impact improving the public's health and environment. Some people call us the food police because we're the group that blew the whistle on the staggering calorie and fat counts in movie theater popcorn, fettuccine Alfredo, Kung Pao chicken, and other popular restaurant meals. But, you know, we've always thought of ourselves more as food detectives, investigating unsafe food additives, scouring supermarket shelves for deceptive labels, exposing exactly who's paying for the latest study by spotlighting financial conflicts of interest among physicians, researchers, and members of government advisory panels. We're the group that led the fight to put standardized, easy-to-read nutrition facts labels on packaged foods and for federal laws that define organic food, that make common allergens easier to spot on food labels, and that provide health warnings on alcoholic beverages. To prevent food poisoning, we've lobbied for tougher and more frequent ins inspections of food and poultry facilities, as well as the farms and factories that supply our produce and packaged foods. Today we're on the front lines trying to improve children's health by getting junk foods out of schools, getting junk food advertising off of children's television. And we're trying to help consumers make healthier choices at chain restaurants by getting calorie counts right up on the menu boards and getting additional nutrition information on the printed menus. In part because of CSPI's efforts, countless food manufacturers are phasing out their use of artificial trans fats, which promote heart disease, in favor of healthier alternative oils. Even restaurants like KFC, which CSPI has sued, and McDonald's have largely gotten rid of trans fat, though there's still much more to do on that front. But we can't do this work alone. CSPI doesn't take a dime from industry or from government, and our Nutrition Action Health Letter does not accept any advertising. It's our members who fund our work and give us clout. If you're not already a subscriber, I invite you to try an introductory subscription to Nutrition Action. You'll have our exposés in your mailbox before you see them in the news. It also makes for a great gift. You'll find product reviews, recipes, and simply strategies for enjoying a longer, healthier life. Thanks for visiting, and I hope you enjoy your visit to our website.